All right, we got three in a row here. That's almost a streak again, I think. Three podcasts in a row from where I stopped at the end of June and then came back at the beginning of August. And tomorrow, if you're listening to this on the day it comes out, which is Thursday, I believe that's the 19th. Yeah, August 19th. Uh, So that's the day this is coming out. If you're listening to it on the day it comes out and then the next day, Friday, tomorrow, I am flying to Las Vegas once again, heading out there to check out Summer Slam. And no, this is not a wrestling podcast. I know I will not be breaking down all the angles, storylines, the characters leading up to the great Summer Slam at Allegiant Stadium but rather uh, some more of my own personal stuff that we got going on here. I've really been going back and forth on this and it's not even just, it's not even just the videos for this weekend that I may or may not be potentially making, but just videos on my channel as a whole. Now I have alluded to it recently on previous podcasts that I have not done like a video on the Gary Cantrell YouTube channel. And I've been trying to figure out like, what is the actual, like if somebody were to come to me and say, Hey Gary, you know, I noticed you haven't uploaded on this channel. Why is that? And I'm trying to figure out like the exact answer, but I guess it's just like, I haven't really like found anything that I've wanted to do. And if I do come up with something, then somehow I get busy and I talk myself out of it or I say, well, you know, who wants to watch that? You know, those, those kind of thoughts are the ones that go on in my head. And that's why you haven't seen anything on my YouTube. And and I guess you could say the same thing for Instagram. I mean, look, over there on Instagram, it's like over 6,000 followers and there's been no posts for months. And I've just been trying to figure out like, what is, what is the next, uh, the next move on these platforms? Obviously it's going to be very video centric. We know that already because that's all I'm focused on right now for good reason, because that is where my heart truly is. That's where I want to be. That's what I want to do. And so you know, everything that I'm doing right now revolves around video. Now, most of that has been for Gary and Larry's edible adventures, which has been going great. I'm recording this by the way on Monday. So I'm actually ahead of the game. I was going to push it off until tomorrow, but then I realized that I have pushed off recording my Wednesday video for the channel to tomorrow. So that's great. Yes, I have, uh, waited until the absolute last minute to make that video. But I mean, look, it's me on camera eating something. How hard can it really be? (laughs) And then of course I go, I come on the podcast and I talk about how I want to make the videos different. And even that's, even that is kind of a hang up here. Here's, here's maybe even the greater purpose of this podcast. Perhaps it just kind of came to me and I hope I don't lose this thought like mid thought, and then we're really screwed here. But like I came on the podcast last week and I talked about how I made that sheets video and how it was different than some of the other videos and how there was all these different elements and how I wanted to do these things in all of my solo videos going forward. And this is kind of the problem when you share stuff online to other people and you kind of take it out of your personal thought space and then you put it out there to like the public where now in my mind, I have set that expectation like people are going to be looking for these things. And so much so to where it's actually held me back from filming and I, I, I will make a video a hundred percent. It will get done tomorrow. There's no question. It has to be, I will not miss this Wednesday upload, but I think that after I made that sheets video, I set the bar so high for myself. And I think a lot of creators can fall into this trap. You might get a video that you do 
where there's maybe something different or something more that you do. And then when it comes time to make the next one, maybe you don't have those same creative ideas for this next one. And that doesn't mean that, no, you don't upload. It also doesn't mean, no, you just throw up some random piece of shit. Like it just means that you're conscious of what you want to do and you try to add little steps to get better as you go. See, now in my mind, I held myself back uh, for a couple of days last week when I could have made the next video because I'm like, well, where do I want to go? What do I want to do? Like, how do I want to make this video different? And then I'm like, shit, I don't actually have an idea yet. And I think that that's okay. It doesn't mean you just don't put out a video. It means you just think about it a little bit more and maybe you can't, you can't change the world in one video. You can't change the world like in one day or whatever, or change your world. I mean, I'm not trying to set out to change the world with me eating food videos, by the way. But I, I, I want to like find little things that I can tweak and make it better. And maybe it won't be that like instant big change. Like a lot of you saw with the sheets video, which is still doing pretty well, by the way, at least it's, it's higher than most videos that I've done. And to me, that's really cool. That, that blows my mind. I'm, I'm incredibly thankful for that, but I need to, okay. Kind of reel myself in a little bit and stop setting these like ridiculous expectations because it is stopping me from being creative. Now that is part one, part two, circling back to the beginning of the podcast. Yes, I'm ADHD. So I tend to be all over the place. I had this thought or I've had these thoughts of should I record something while I'm in Las Vegas? Okay. The last two times I have gone, I have filmed stuff in Las Vegas. Now there is one part of me that says just go to Vegas Don't even bring your camera. Just go to Vegas and have a good time. That's one part of me. The other part of me says, bring that camera. You never know what's going to happen. Just bring it document, you know, whatever part part. The other part of it is, oh, hell yeah. We're going to film every freaking day. It's like all over the place. And it's driving me crazy in a way where I'm like, well, I could get a video for Gary and Larry's edible adventures that I could, you know, make easily. Cause it's, again, it's just eating food. I just have to make it somewhat interesting, but there's that thought of, well, just go and make, you know, one of those videos. There's another part of me that remembers, uh, what was this 2019 when I went to WrestleMania, how I vlogged every day that I was in New York and New Jersey, going to these different events for WrestleMania and people in the comments have had, have said, Hey, are, you know, when things open back up, will you go to future WrestleManias? Will you vlog these events? And my answer has always been, Oh, I'd love to. So here's a golden opportunity to do just that. But then in my mind, things kind of set in where I'm like, well, I can't bring my nice camera everywhere I want to go. So I'm not going to have good video. I'm not going to have good audio for probably most of this vlog. And then the other part of me is like, dude, why are you letting that hold you back? Like if you say to yourself, Hey, I want to make these videos, just go and make these videos. Don't let a camera hold you back. And it's not like, Oh, I don't have the camera. I only have my phone. And so, you know, I'm worried about that. I mean, I have the camera that I've wanted that I've always wanted. Well, since I saw it, since it came out rather, but I got it. I have the camera that I want. But the problem with it is you can't take it in everywhere. So you have to bring your phone for other parts. And I'm like worried about the footage not matching. These are all just stupid things to think about. Most people that consume content of mine, whether it be my solo channel or the food channel, they watch it in 1080p on their phone. If it's even in 1080p, they may be on some cellular network 
and it may look all junky and stuff. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It actually does not matter. So there's the other part of me. It's like, dude, get over your shit and just make something, make something this weekend. So there's the other part of me. That's just like, all right, maybe we'll go and make something. I haven't really decided yet, but whatever I do, I'll be sure to let you know about it. And that's kind of all that I really had for this week. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I know these podcasts are vastly different from the kind of thing I used to do, but this is just the evolution of my life. This is just the different uh, chapters different seasons, whatever label you want to put on it. If you're still here rocking with me and you were here back then, thank you. If you're new, thank you. If you're even here this far at 11 minutes in the podcast, if you are still here, thank you. Can't tell you what that means to me. And thanks for being a part of this journey as I kind of figure out what the next steps look like. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for listening.